All right, so it is currently almost 5.30 in the morning and I'm about to eat breakfast. Here, I got a bagel and I got some, you, you can't tell what this is. This looks like oil, but it was marinated goat and sheep's milk that I got from my job. $12.99 in case you're wondering at Whole Foods, but I get a discount because I work there. But yeah, I have work at 7.30 and <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. Here's the thing. I like waking up early. Is it easy to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, especially in the winter when it's cold outside? It is not. However, I think I produce my best work early in the morning. When it comes to like editing or getting ideas or anything of that nature that involves creativeness or even just like doing chores, I think I do better. I fare better early in the morning. And I've realized this about myself over the last four years. If I wake up at 9 a.m., like on my day off, if I plan to do stuff creatively, let's say, and I wake up after 9, it's a lot difficult to get going versus waking up at 5. So I do like waking up early and then everything is still very quiet. It's almost magical. Here's the thing I do not like though, <laughs> waking up early to go to work. I do not like it at all. Waking up and giving my morning to a company. However, when two, three o'clock rolls around at the job, if I started at seven or eight, by like two or three, I'm out. So once two, three o'clock rolls around, best time of the day. So I do like that aspect about going to work early. But I just, honestly, <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can do this. Also, I'm filming vertically. I should have said this like right when I started the video. I'm filming vertically to emulate Instagram Live. <laughs> I've never done an Instagram Live or even like live on YouTube, but I'm trying to emulate that. I'm trying different styles of filming these daily, I guess daily vlogs is what you call them. So back to the topic at hand. So yeah, I don't know how much longer I can do this. And I know I've heard a lot of content creators saying that with content creation, like they miss the one thing that they miss about having a nine to five. Those of them who have worked regular nine to fives before is health insurance and like guarantees that they will get paid at the end of every week or every two weeks, however frequently they get paid. I get paid every two weeks. So they, they do miss that. But I mean, it's a trade off I'm going to have to take. Like, it's nice to know that you're covered health wise or that you're going to get your check. If you show up to work, you're going to get your check at the end of every two weeks. But I don't know. I'm not I'm not feeling fulfilled. It's so crazy. It's not even just after the pandemic that I started feeling this way. I have felt this way since 2013. That's wild. That's 11 years of this feeling of just feeling like work is getting in the way of my creativity. Literally, I felt this since 2013, since I was at Disney. And I liked Disney initially when I first started working there. I've said before, by 2019, I started to lose the magic, let's say. But yeah, I'm feeling this way at my job at the moment. And I've only been there two years. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know how I was in Disney for like seven years. You know, the thing with Disney too is like, it was, there was a lot of excitement on my days off. I could go to the park. There's always something to do. Here, however, is quite different. And it's not even so much that it's a difficult job. It's just, I'm not fulfilled. It's the same shit every day. And it's not, I feel like there's no point to it. It's a bullshit job. It's a cool job. I'll give them that. Like I cut cheese all day. I work in the cheese department. It's pretty cool learning about cheese, but like, for how long? And I'll tell you, I'll be very honest. I got, I started to get bored of the job within six months of being there. So I started this job September of 2021. By March of 2022, I was like, yo, <laughs> I gotta get the fuck out of here. But like, I was having some issues with my, my back and I'd gone to see a chiropractor. So <laughs> I had to stay at the job so that my insurance could cover it. Otherwise, I would have been billed the whole $5,000. I still paid a hefty price. I paid $1,000 out of pocket and then insurance covered the rest. So that's why I really stayed. I'm going to eat now, go shower and get ready to head out. Talk to you guys tomorrow.